you can it smells you can like say. rice actually like toasted rice mm. mix yes yeah, yeah I, I mix with the the um this uh the nightingale drop droppings and the rice bran the ingredient main ingredient uh the um uh, the bud droppings have uh the natural enzyme and the nut this enzyme can remove dead skin cells, the outlay of the skin. So that's why we can cleanse the skin very well and exfoliate the skin very well. Massage. It didn't smell like what I imagined bird poop to smell like. It actually smelled like toasted rice, which was surprising. But um, it actually makes you feel very uh, nostalgic because it makes you think of Rice Krispies or toasted coconut. Well, the, the first when I said that what I'm using, um, you know, I introduced to my regular clients. And then they thought that I was kidding. Or not the kidding, like a, uh, because of my English, they thought I was not saying correct word. <laughs> so I said, no, no, I'm saying, the, you know, droppings. Um, I'm going to apply the... Um Nightingale droppings. Bird poop is the draw, but I think once you're in, you'll realize it's more of a complete experience of. Which, of which that's a small part. I don't think it's any different from using an say an apricot scrub or a mask that you could buy in Duane Reed or CVS or buy in any local pharmacy because it doesn't have any stronger powers than that. So I think you have to look at it the same way as putting on a clay mask that you can buy over the counter. It will make your skin probably feel smoother and better, but it's certainly not beneficial for you know the cost of $200 for the facial. She said, yeah, she said, oh, um, use it.